If you fuck with me, I fuck with you. Mm -hmm. Like, as far as doing songs, you niggas like, shit. You know you gotta pay. You would charge them young niggas. Yeah. Why? Cause I need my money. But in a sense, it can detach you from being part of that new wave and new uh, culture they got. Shit, I am the new wave. Mm -hmm. Like, as far as new wave is like, when I came out, only person who was rapping, I was Jay Black from the South, rest in peace, and we was all at Boss Money. Like, niggas didn't show us no love in Stockton. As far as Stockton, yeah, I fuck with niggas, you feel me? I won't charge everybody. Like, yeah. Like, Nail was doing his thing. Nail still doing his thing. NB Nail doing his thing. You got AC though. Uh -huh. You got niggas from the East. You got niggas from the West doing their thing. You got niggas from the North killing it. My niggas is killing it. But like, and then you got sack niggas doing their thing. But everybody else is like, if I don't know you, you got to pay. That makes sense. That makes sense. If niggas ain't tapped in, then niggas got to yeah, pay. Yeah, that part. Like, if you ain't tapped in, like, yeah. Hey, if you don't feel like it's worth it. Hey. But what about if a nigga got some buzz in the city? He got some buzz and then it's like, he tap in. I'm actually around. I'm at, like, where you from? I'm gonna ask like If you even cool To even fuck with mm. Cause I'm gonna get My own perspective about you mm. At the end of the day So If you get a free feature For me That's big mm. That's big But if you hot And you just like Killing it And you just like So big like this Before you even got there You gotta go through One of us You gotta go through Somebody that's already it That's already hot In the city right now Has them young niggas Did it Cause I'm not really Too caught up in the Stockton Thing like I'm not um, The boy was like Updating me I didn't really know That it was like A whole wave Of hella people Yeah it's a lot of us So it's just Stockton and Sacramento We the valley Yeah So like We like the Little brother to the bay Yeah But we got LA politics That shit is confusing Yeah Hey man Um it's the Cali Kickback, you understand me? Uh, my name is Louis Belt, you understand me? We got Christina Mack in the building. How you feeling, sweetheart? I feel great. You feeling good? Thanks La for having me back. <laughs> last time you was up here, you know, you just started a whole uh, social media war about BBLs and... Uh, have you seen the clip, Hattie Baby? Mm -mm. She was She was on the uh, Cali Kickback and she was talking about women with BBLs and was saying they get it for men. Am I correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was saying, you know, women get BBLs for men. How you feel about that? Women get BBLs? What are you talking about? You a know what the BBLs? A woman doesn't get her body done to impress herself. She gets her body done to impress a man. So me going to get my body done is because I want a certain type of man to take to me and to pay attention to me because those are like the top dogs, if you will, for lack of a better term. That's the type of woman that you see them walking around with. They got fat booties and big titties, you know? So that's just the preference. So I don't feel like women are getting their body done for them. And the ones that are, they are. But we're talking about the mass majority. Mm -hmm. They're not getting their body done because they want to just stare in the mirror and look at it wiggle. They're getting their body done because they want a certain type of man to notice the wiggle, like, you know? Or they don't have the discipline to get in the gym and do the work, eat the food. So mm. I think women get their body done to impress men. I don't think they get it done to do that, like all that shit. Cause if all men were like, I hate weave, weave is disgusting, I hate it, it's nasty, don't ever put another weave in. If all men came to the same conclusion, women will stop wearing weaves cause they are not doing it for themselves. They will say they are, they're gonna get mad, they're gonna comment on the clip. But at the end of the day, I'm going to impress my man. Like I want my man to like me. So if he tells me he don't like weave, we not doing weave no more. Like that's just not what we doing, mm -hmm. you know. But I have to really like him for me to want to change my. How do you way. feel about women calling you a pick me for having that opinion? I love that. I'm a pick me. Like I want to get picked every day, all day. I want my man to wake up and choose me. I don't want him to keep going to the club and seeing something better. I want him to pick me. So I'm mm -hmm. I'm going. Feel to the free gym. to pick me. Feel free. That's to your pick next me. T. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, I, I want my man to pick me over and over and over again and I want to do what he likes so that he continues to pick me I'm not about to but when they say pick me right mm -hmm. they say it ain't it's the difference between like you you doing something to cater to your man versus mm -hmm. you don't got a man you saying things that men like yeah but I'm not married so I don't have a man so until I am married and I'm somebody's wife and somebody's chi the child of somebody's mother or excuse me the mother of somebody's child then I'm not picked so until then, I'm going to move with, 
I'm going to take care of my moves and I'm going to take care of my actions and my body and my soul and my spirit just to make sure that when I am picked, I kept in consideration what my man might like. Because he, I might have been a hoe for the last three years. I wasn't. But I might have been a hoe for the last three years. And he find out. And now he's like, I don't want her. Like, she's fine, but I don't want her. She's a hoe. Like, Do you think that her. still matter, though? Because yeah, I feel like hoes be... It matters. It matters. What you think? It All definitely matters. I mean, at the end of the day, you can do what you want as a woman. Like, if you feel like you got to do all that. I'm from Northern California, so if you got all that ass and, you, and I don't know you, you coming like that, you better sell that pussy. I'm from one that. Mm, on P Street. Hey, but I'm um, like, if you want some lovey-dovey shit, hey, cool, do what you want, baby. I fuck, I'm a, I'm a mindset type of nigga. So, yeah, your mindset yeah. trash. I ain't gonna fuck with you. I'm gonna say it. Like, if you come to the club, I can already peep your vibe. I'm like, shut up, bitch. Like, off the rip. Like, get away from me. I don't know you. I don't want you around my section. If I see you good hearted and you got a good soul, I peep shit like that. I'm gonna be like, oh, for sure. Get a drink. Get that. You know so, do you think it matters if a woman, uh, her past matter? Because I no, feel like, like a past... lot of dudes be de wifing hoes. Would <laughs> nah. you wife a hoe? Hell no. Nah. Have you wiped a hoe? Yep. <laughs> like would I wife a hoe? I ain't never wife nobody technically. Well, nah, like, you was in a public relationship. Well, I was gonna get to it later. But I ain't never <laughs> wife nobody like no ring. Like no, nah, we right. talking wife you like right. on a uh, uh, like this my girl type shit. I could post a bitch tomorrow. You know what I mean, you my wife. You but like, no do ring. you know? I, I mean, this honestly, like, do you know who you can and cannot talk to like that? Like, like, and I'm not saying can like I'm trying to demean you. I'm saying can like, do you know like you meet certain type of women and you know that you can handle them a certain type of way, and then you meet other type of women and you know that you just can't play with her the same, or you feel like you could talk to anybody however you want. Because I feel like certain men I could play with a certain way, and I feel like certain yeah, men like, I give more respect. Like me, mm-hmm. nah. Like every woman I fuck with, you know not to play. Like off the rip. No, but playing. what about you? Like me, once I feel like you already understand me and I ain't playing, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna be submissive to you too. I'm mm. gonna suck your toes, do all of that, rub your feet, treat you like queen, buy your shit. I'm a submissive type of nigga though, but I'm a pee at the end of the day. Like if a woman, if you're a woman, you wanna do your thing, do your thing, baby. I don't get mad. Like I've never had so a- so. When do the pee shit go aside? We from NorCal, bro. You know that shit. It never really leave us. I feel like North. Oh my Northern mama! Cali. It never really leave us. Like it don't. We really just like my mama a pee. Like <laughs> my mama from the town, nigga. Like oh, it's in better than no for real. Like well, it's like toxic. That. But when you really think about it, it's in better than us. Like, yeah. When I go to Atlanta, them niggas be tricking. I'm like, oh, you don't be tricking when you go to Atlanta. I trick on my women, uh-huh. but like all that shit is new to me. It's a whole new world. Cause mm-hmm. when I come from, it's like. Like y'all do for each other, and it's like soon as how you feel about them gentrifying the P, cause P they didn't uh, gunner to make P sound like some corny shit. The red me. ass nigga, I ain't fuck with none. He talking about all that shit out the door. Tells rap. Case People saying this album is pretty nice though. Oh, that that album could be nice. There's a lot of rats make good sounds. You know, you would never work with a snitch. No, for what. What about if somebody snitched and you didn't know about it? You probably already worked with a snitch. Oh, yeah, you didn't even know. Yeah, I'll give your money back. I did that, and I told YouTube. I said, take it down. I'll give your money back. You lying. I did on my mom. What song? And who was it? Band Up Duda. He told, all oh, peace. Go about your business, bro. What? Yeah, I was cool with bro. And he told on some shit. Hey, go about your business, bro. No harm. I ain't go. No, 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 no. That phony shit. That's fake shit. Just go about your business, bro. I can't be associated with that. I didn't miss shot by the police, stabbed, robbed niggas, stood tall. So it's like, if I'm doing all this, what I look like being cordial with a nigga who told us, like, I'm standing for nothing. Because, mm. you know, a lot of things change. People don't even care about none of that no more. It's crazy. I'm scared of the future because, you know, people just, it's different times now. It's kind of like, you know, you don't want to mess up your business. But I feel you, though, because morally, you got to stand on what you stand on. I feel it. I look at a situation though. If I know you not even like that, I'm like, oh, this is a civilian. He told so what? It's a civilian. But if I know you, <laughs> what's the difference between six nine and gunner telling? Oh, it's the same shit. Six nine, you know what you was doing. But I, I feel don't like think so. six nine. Why? Why you feel like it was? Go different? ahead. I'm, I'm gonna talk after you talk. No, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, um, mm. I feel like six nine. We we men, we humans, we make mistakes. You did what you did. So it's like at the end of the day, you can say, yeah, it was fucking my baby mama. Everybody baby mama get fucked. Yeah, For they sure. were trying to set me up. I done got set up. I done got stabbed. 
Like, I think I said it before by niggas I knew, right? But I didn't tell. I kept it silent. I couldn't even go to the hospital. I went to mama's house. She kicked me out because I had to keep it silent. It's like, all right, I can't go to the hospital because you got to report. You got to report shit. Mm -hmm. So it's like, bro, you asking, y'all got to understand, you asking me a question. So mm -hmm. and a regular civilian going to tell you the real, like, oh, no, 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 I'm going to tell you. But me, it's like, no, bro, it's like, what a, what am I standing for if I stand for that? Mm -hmm. I know now, you know, dealing with my female now, I'm on this Muslim path. I'm trying to really get my life together. But Ooh, like, that cootie cat good. She got you turning Muslim. That put you. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Turn that nigga whole situation different. Yeah, you know nigga, me? make you come back. But to answer your question, because we got off topic. Um, I fuck with the Muslims. Yeah, like, no, like all that shit, like that's out the door for me. Because at the end of the day, I can still be like, yeah, I'm not with that, but bro, I'm still a gangster. And they ain't never leaving me. Mm -hmm. you know? So I got to stand on that. And I'm going to stand on that with my woman. If uh, my woman, if you got kids before me, I'm going to stand on that with your kids. Mm -hmm. I'm going to protect her. Yeah. So I'm, I'm one of God's soldiers. I ain't no weak nigga. Ain't nothing about me weak. So it's like, I'm a soldier. Like, bro, I got to stand on now on my mama. Like, when, when women meet me, it's like, bro, I'm a soldier. Like, if you if you my woman, like, I'm yeah, I'm overprotective. Yeah, I get a little jealous. So be prepared. What's your sign? I'm a Gemini. Yeah. yeah. So Woman, I'm cool. One thing I like about Christina, man, she's very honest. She's very blunt. It's a lot of women that out there that be, you know, lying. You understand me? Sugar coating. You yeah. feel me? So I really want to have both of y'all on this episode. You understand me? Because I know how you fuck with it. I you fuck with me? it. I know how you fuck with it. But I know how Christina fuck with it, you understand me? And I'm going to have her channel. I'm going to sick her on your ass in a minute. <laughs> hey, any opinion Christina got is not wrong. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When I tell you something, it's just from my perspective. Yeah. How do y'all feel about public relationships? Going Go on social media. Have you ever went public with anybody? I have. Mm -hmm. Just once. Once? Oh, uh, yeah. You think people should do that or people should just keep their relationship private? It just depends on how far they decide they're capable of going in life. So I feel like everything about me and what I post is my brand. And I'm very, you know, I'm very aware that I have to stay on brand. I'm very aware that 79% of my audience is men. Mm -hmm. So it's like, they don't want to see me with a man, you know, they don't want to see me outside and, and I'm getting money right now. And like I don't want to stop my money by like. So you you would rather not be in a relationship with a man because you you have a man fan base. No, I would rather not be in a relationship with a man that requires me to post it on social media. Mm. Mm hmm. Respectable. I understand that. Yeah, that's honest. How you feel about uh, <laughs> going public in a relationship? I, I went public with folks like you, you were saying earlier. Yeah, but I was I was in love, yeah. Like, and that's my baby mother. She got my child. We don't talk at all, like, but you got my child. Do your thing. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not, you feel me? Like, when I went public, that's how I felt at that moment. I'm like, nigga, yeah, nigga. Because there's a lot of rappers that go up off having a relationship. relationship. Yeah. That's really the new wave. Yeah. Dirt. I mean, Jay-Z and Beyonce was the first before mm -hmm. really we really did this Instagram shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hella, that's kind of like the blueprint to be hot. Yeah, but really? when you in love, you in love, man. I ain't knocking nobody. When you when it comes to relationship shit, I don't really talk about relationship shit. That's not my MO. But when you in the relationship shit, like, do your thing. Y'all be happy, man. I think it's important to talk about relationships, though, because there is a certain capacity that you can reach as an independent woman. And, like, doesn't matter how beautiful you are or anything. Yeah. Like, as an independent woman, you there's a wall of your success when you are single. And, like, so many women are like, oh, there's no limit to what I can do by myself. You can reach extensive heights by yourself, yeah. but when you have a powerful man behind you, the everything is limitless. Like when you have the right person behind you and supporting you, like I just made a video today, I didn't even post it, so it's funny that I'm saying it here, but mm -hmm. um, I said like, this man called me and was like, um, hey, when you get out of school, you know, I'm in nursing school. So he's like, when you get out of school today, you got a session. So make sure you get over, because I live in Long Beach. So mm -hmm. make sure you get over to da 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 and get that session. I was like, wait a minute, you booked me a session? He's like, yeah, why wouldn't I? Like, and I'm like, he's trying to fuck. For sure, maybe, yeah, but that's how you're supposed to do it. That's how you're supposed to do it. You're that's selling to, pussy. That's not selling pussy. That's prostitution. No, not, it's okay. Not, it wasn't. Okay. It ain't nothing wrong with it. No, no, absolutely not. We're going to stop that right here. Uh -huh. So. He he's not the artist. Mm -hmm. He set up a session for me and an artist. 
for me to go over there and like because I'm working on a tape right now uh -huh. so he was like go over there when you get out of school and do this song mm -hmm. and I was like I was I really like that because a man that wants to see you win without being jealous because you know if I'm being are y'all dating no but the but you know we talk like I'm so did lie. you we ask talk. him like why did you do this of course I she did, like but him. I know you like him, I like him. He likes me. Oh, okay. But That's I'm, why. Okay, let But I'm single hit. though, so I'm. I'm. You know, we we do go eat and like etc. He like, hit. No, he did not. He was. She lying. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. What you, you settle for? Said. Go no, be with bruh. I, I'm not. I'm not ready. I'm not just because you don't do, be committed. Dude, keep doing what you're doing. You good? Yeah, like I think when the right person comes along, they're gonna apply pressure, and, and you know that was a great start. I think that's mm -hmm. really impressive for you to put me in the room with an A-list celebrity and not be jealous of who it was, because he, you know, both of them are very attractive people. If I'm being real for context of the you know situation, mm -hmm. they're both very attractive. Mm -hmm. So he could have. Thought I was gonna go over there and do da da da, da. but I think number one, it was kind of if I'm being you know a Virgo, I think kind of he was trying to set like see like how she was gonna act like when I did that me she uh -huh. like when I get in the room with him am I gonna like throw myself or is he gonna report back whatever I could be wrong so mm -hmm. excuse me but um you know what I'm saying though like I wanted to see. I, I want to see what he'll do for me, and I want to be able to do things for him, but I don't want to just jump Man, in a relationship. Man, some he tested you. Yeah, sure. I think he tested me. Like, I did that for sure, for sure. Like, oh, I'll have my homeboy pick up my girl. I'll go pick her up. That's oh, I never had a man that would do oh, that. Oh, yeah, go pick her up. See what she's saying. Go smoke with her. See what she's saying. It's That's crazy. Test. Yeah, I feel like it was a test, though, because I know they're cool, but he was like, I got, he, <laughs> he said, if you're going to do it, you got to do it today. And I was like, all right, cool. So I went and did it, and now I got a big feature, but it's like, um, I feel like it was a test, like whatever. Do you feel like women have to, uh, um, yes. I know what, what you're about to say. Go yes. ahead. You ain't even hear it. I know what you're about to say. say. Go, ahead. Go ahead. Do you feel like women have to, uh, do you feel like women have to have sex to work their way up oh. to the industry? <laughs> I did not mean to say yes. Yeah, no. so you said yes to the I, wrong you shit. You wasn't going to ask that. You're not used to talk to no real peas. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, absolutely not. I haven't had to have sex with anybody and work my way up. And my first, my very first EP had a big feature on it, you mm -hmm. know? And I didn't have to sleep with nobody to get it. I made one phone call. And then I also paid the other person. I paid them cash. So... Haiti, baby, what you feel about that? Because you're in the music industry. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like... uh? How do you do? You feel like women got it easier or harder in the game? Because women running shit right now in the music industry. Undebatable. Yeah. Um. No. You ain't got some sex. You ain't got to do that. Women doing their thing. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like it's playing women. Like you gotta understand the songs we ain't hearing us from overseas and shit. Mm -hmm. Like that one little girl that Ice Spice work with. Mm -hmm. Like she ain't selling sex. You ain't really. You ain't got. You ain't got to be no. Oh, I ain't speaking for what the other girls went through before y'all in the rap industry because yeah. they they make it sound like they went through harsh times. Yeah. Nowadays, nah, we fucking with women. Like, yeah, hop on the song, go do your thing. Yeah. I don't want to. Like, Big Sexy Red, I'm not fucking you. Who is Big Sexy Red? That's Dude. the booty, brown booty her, bitch. Her booty, booty, brown. I called her a bitch for no reason. The brown booty lady, but she. Yeah, the brown booty woman. Yeah, the brown booty lady. Yeah, she could do a song, go ahead. Like, we ain't tripping. Some rappers, I don't know, I ain't speaking for her, but me. Is like, everybody you, booty hell brown? Is your booty hell brown? I refuse to sit here on this damn podcast and discuss the color of my booty hole. That's a great answer. That's a great answer. That's I was just crazy. testing you. So ass. put it in a song. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's Why is crazy. everybody screaming that then if they booty hole ain't broke? I'm not screaming that. She I think lit, that though. shit she is hard, crazy. Though. She going. She hard. Congratulations, and I don't think it's cool to shit on anybody's golden year. And I think that this is what she's having. She's having a big year, but you, I'm a, you, I'm no. See, my mama played Lauren Hill when I was growing up, but I understand every girl not finna rap like that. Mm -hmm. That's, uh -huh. She's a great rapper compared to niggas too. So yeah. it's like, okay. But I like the hard females too. Like, I like, like for example, Cash Doll. She pops her shit, oh, yeah, I fuck but with she's Cash still Doll. very so classy. She's yeah. still a lady. Like, you know. You don't fuck with Lil Kayla? Who's that? From the city, man. You don't know Lil' Kayla. How you got on here? She don't know Lil' Kayla. She from, she oh, from, nigga. she ain't from out the I'm way. I'm from Colorado. Yeah, she from, from Colorado. Colorado. Denver. Mm -hmm. Denver. Denver. Yeah. yeah. Denver. You Shout out Lil' Kayla. Kayla. You got to check her out. She dope. Shout For out sure. Trevor She Ridge. from the Bay Area. You yeah. understand me? Okay, yeah. cool. I took her out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, check her out. I like the mama. Bay. I love Bay yeah, people. They're just yeah. so dope. Mm -hmm. I yeah. love Bay people. They got the best personalities. Oh, mamas, you know this thing is not on us. You understand me? Look we could put it on us. They do take all this shit. Oh, we. <laughs> uh, God damn it, me here. Don't ask him. Ask her. <laughs> you know talking about? Yeah, that way. Check your bitch. Yeah, man. Oh, mamas. Speaking of this NorCal shit, man, uh, we we ain't get into what you got going on. You understand me? It's um, good. You one of the only... 
Well, you're not one of the only. You was the first artist out of Stockton to get popping, from my understanding. Yeah, not I the, could not be the wrong. Only, not the only, yeah. One of the first, yeah. Yeah, one of the first artists. Yeah. Am I correct? Was it anybody in rap that was popping out of Stockton, California before you? Not that I, not that I really know. It's people who rap them, but not like in my status. Not like on the niggas you see now. Uh -huh. They wasn't doing what we doing. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, and I, a lot of people know you from, uh, a lot of people like, in Northern California, know you from like you know your rap career, and you know you getting the yanking. But a lot of people discovered you off of that freestyle you the did freestyle. on whatever. I forgot the platform. It, it was, was it was it was DJ Head shit. Bro. DJ Head, shout out yeah. DJ Head. It was on his platform. You did some freestyle, and you wasn't rapping. You was just like, yeah, I was bullshit. That was bullshit. You knew that was gonna go viral. Yeah, huh? it was like some marketing shit. Yeah, cause I was like shit. Everybody else doing little weird shit, so I'm like, I'm not finna cut my hair ball or shave my eyebrows, cause I didn't want to do that. So I'm like, let me. I came there with like eight thousand followers. I left with like 127. Damn. Thousand in like two weeks. Rihanna called me. Meek Mill tried to sign me. Like Pharrell posted me on Instagram. Chris and Tegan posted me. And shout out to Chris Tegan. I know she just lost her child. Um, who else posting me? Why Sweet you didn't sign me. with Meek Mill or? Uh... I was with Gazi. I felt comfortable with Gazi. Oh, okay. Yeah, I felt Empire. Gazi, I was his first artist from Stockton, so like he took me on his wing and he took me to do artist development. Mm -hmm. Like when I first signed to Gazi, I had cases facing that shit, and Gazi was like, put me in a stool. So I'm like, I gotta be loyal. I'm a loyal nigga. So like when Meek tried to sign me, he did it. He didn't do it direct through me. He did it through Gazi. Like, yo, is he free? Oh, and I was telling Gazi, no, I don't wanna stick with you. You signed to Meek Mill? No, no, no. no. I oh. fuck with Jeezy. Oh. Yeah, he Jeezy. under CTE. Yeah. Uh, shout out Jeezy. Meek, my boy. Man. I fuck with Meek, though. Yeah. Yeah. How did that come about? Uh, you getting signed to CTE? Because that was hella random for everybody. Like, that, yeah. that threw me by surprise. I personally feel like, you know, I don't know if Snow agreed. You know, he, we could say he broke YG with the My Nigga song. With Rich Homie. To a certain extent, yes. To a certain extent. Yeah. We already knew YG before that. He was already a legend on the West Coast. Two but yeah. For me on I, the West Coast. For me, I'm not literally I'm not literally a legend. I'm a legend in Stockton, mm -hmm. Northern Cow shit. Mm -hmm. But like so um for me it's like I, I feel like he liked the West Coast. His favorite rapper is Tupac. You broke yeah. YG, yeah. you signed me, so I'm like, oh, you like the West. You for sure. He and found he like West Coast women. He fucked with Keisha Cole, <laughs> now he with Jenny Ma. <laughs> Yeah, well, well, that's what I said. I yeah, said, yeah he liked the Bay Area See, with a lot, me, man. With me, I'm like, okay, he heard the gangster shit. He ain't hear all my singing shit like Change Your Life, the little freestyles. He ain't hear that shit. He heard the gangster shit. He mm -hmm. was like, I'm fucking with that. Yeah, I was happy to see that because Jeezy, my favorite rapper, yes, damn me. I got a few favorite rappers now at this point because, you know, it's crazy when you grow up. Like, growing up, Jeezy is my favorite rapper. Now I got a few, you feel me? Uh, but th I was excited to see that. Yeah, How I didn't did really, that come about? I didn't grow up listening to Jeezy. Really? No, not really. I couldn't even enjoy Gucci Man because I was such a, a, a Jeezy <laughs> fan. Like, I didn't even know about that beef like that until after high school. What? I grew up on DB, The General, D Lo, Young Kurt, Yada, Yace. So you didn't listen to nothing outside SOB. of Northern California? I'm 26. I'm 26 years old. So, like, I grew up on SOB. When SOB was popping, I was a really? sophomore. I was a sophomore in high school. So you grew up on Sunny Boy to a certain extent. Yes, I watched your videos my whole life with the dreads. I watched you from the beginning. I know you more than her. Who's her? She she go crazy. I'm playing with y'all. Oh, <laughs> <like, laughs> <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm sorry, it's Colorado. Stupid. I'm playing with oh, mama. Oh, mama. But wow, I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, that's who I really grew up on. Like if you being real, like I listened to Tupac shit, and then when I got with Jeezy, I started studying his him who he is. I'm like, oh, this shit dope. But then once you talk to him, once he be having man, the man talks about real estate, property management, how to um, capitalize off of social, and then how to build equity in companies, yeah. and how to get that shit, and how to get loans off of more off of assets. So how did you sign to a nigga you didn't grow up listening to? How did he that come out of Stockton? And then his Jesus executive, from his executive Trey hit my brother Reg like, yeah, I want to fuck a bro. So I pulled up in L. A. Mm -hmm. He had a dinner, and he like pull up. I pull up. You know, all blue, blue air, all cripped out. Mm -hmm. I pull up on him, bruh. He was fucking with me. He like, yeah, I like, I like what you do. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, and then I posted, yeah, I fuck with Snow. Niggas was like, who we talking about? Who we yeah. talking about? I'm like, yeah, I fuck with Snow. I'm, I'm him now. Damn. So that's how that happened. That's some shit. Yeah, that's. It's some... only beginning though. Yeah. You enjoying Atlanta? 
I'm gonna join Atlanta. TG How long have you been signed to him? For about six months. Okay, so yeah. it's very new. Very new, yeah. yeah I got no. my own label and everything, so he let me. I keep everything, but he really got me a deal with Def Jam. That's dope. A one year little deal, one album. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate you. You been out there eating ass and tricking and shit. Hell no. Nah. I've been out there really just to the neck. Really like. <laughs> For the people that don't know what to the neck mean, that means he been hanging out by himself. Oh, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my mama, I've been doing hella shit out there, but not that shit. Like, as far as that, like, I've been Gucci. Like, I've been working on myself as a man. You know, I went to Atlanta. I said, all right, I'm finna get swole. So yeah, just, you um, walk around looking like the new LL Cool J around this motherfucker. Every that's time really I get on your cold. page, your shirt off. Yeah, that's I was, really I was like, man, if this was my nigga, I'm finna unfollow his freaky ass. That's really the go. <laughs> Every time I wake up, Haiti <laughs> Baby naked on Instagram with his chest out and shit. <laughs> really? Yeah, playing oh, hella wow. LL Cool J on the reels. Really? Oh, I, I can love you better. I know, that's right. Oh, mamas. Yeah, I'm I mean, like, let me get my ass in the gym. Yeah. I really... I did that inspired by LL, Nelly, and, and 50. So I really was like... That's where the money at, though. Because everybody... When so many people invest in it to you, you're like, want to see you win and start putting money behind you and start... You, you want to make me? sure that you're taking the action for yeah, yourself, you got too. to. Yeah. Because... Eating clean. Ain't no falling down. Because mm -hmm. only you can pick you up. You feel me? I come... From, like, where my mama come from, yeah. like, we, my mama come from foster care. My mama not, her folks not from this country. Mm -hmm. Her folks all from Guyana. Like, my real father all from Haiti. Mm -hmm. like, oh, I that's got, where Haiti baby came from? Yeah, I ain't got no family in this country. It's just me, my mom, my little sister, and my stepdad. So you really Haitian? I'm really a Zoe, bro. I'm Guyanese and Haitian. Like, my mama went through the whole You might as well move town. out there. Nigga, you have a whole fan base. Like, when, Fuck the states, nigga. Move R to Haiti. R.P. Zodorosa. Like, before he my died, like... My R.P. Zodorosa, My man. mom's just, just like... Right when he died, my mom was just crushed. Because she's like, nigga, these are the people I call brothers, I call family. Like, fuck blood. You feel me? Fuck the blood. Like, this is... We don't got no real family out here. Damn. It's just people my mom met and then said, that's my family. I choose you. So it's like... When I fall, ain't nobody picking us up. Ain't nobody giving no loan. Ain't nobody helping my moms and me out. Like, it's us. When I first started rap, I said, Mom, I want to rap. She said, all right, put the studio in the room. And my mom pushed this shit. Like, me and my mom just got cool like three years ago. Like, I, I didn't got her house shot up, hella shit. I didn't do hella bad that shit. But it's like, I was understanding. Hey, we, we ain't cool if you get my house shoot up, shot up. Yo mama a real one for she that. She a real one. That's the definition like, of unconditional love. For real. What's the worst shit you done done to your mama? I think that's the worst shit you can do. Get your mama's sh house shot up. I just think disrespecting her. Like, I've never called my mom out of her name or anything. But just, like, being disobedient and, like, going against the grain. And, you know, women tension is different. Like, mother-daughter dynamic. So I think the worst thing is just, like, just honestly just not being her friend, really. Like, when she probably needed me the most, I just was being, I want to be grown. Da -da -da -da. I didn't do that, too. You know? I, didn't, I didn't got into like really. My like mom that. just needs a friend. She didn't. Well, we're great, great friends now. Mm -hmm. Like, but um, what you, you know, mix with? I'm Puerto Rican and black. Oh, Puerto Rican and black. Mm -hmm. I was having a lot of. I, we've been having a lot of conversation on like inner. Uh, what shit when you dating outside of your race? Yeah, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, a lot of people saying. I, I was on the episode. We was talking about a lot of people can't say nigga mm -hmm. if they not uh black mm -hmm. or fully black. And what's the difference like? I'm fully black though. Yeah, but no, you're not. Cause but you, I am. Do you know what Puerto Rico is? It's the runaway slaves. Yeah, and Dominica too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're black. We speak Spanish. That yeah, that's not a good Latina. point. That's a good I'm point. I'm black. I was raised by a black man. I was, my grandfather is full black, like darker than anybody in this room. His name is tatted on me, and um, my mother is a black woman. You look at her and she gets to like my mom's a black woman who's Muslim with a last name Farrakhan. So I'm black. <laughs> you wanna go? That's we can go point. to Barbados too. They look they look dark than us. They don't yeah. speak right. our language. They are and believe right. they black too. I know niggas. So who's off limits like to say niggas? Mexicans. You don't you don't think Mexicans should no. be able to say the word nigga? No, and I heard that shit at school today and it irritated me. Like a little Mexican girl that wears like Jordans saying nigga and I'm like yo that's not fly like that's annoying to me how you feel about especially that especially white people but that should be a given I mean like I don't give a fuck about shit like that like, the Mexicans where we from like, they niggas the Arabics is niggas <laughs> that's what I be saying I'm like, I'm like, they, they like what's up bro I'm like shut up niggas stop playing with me bro 
Like, you know, you, you go scream out Haiti baby before I walk in. Like, them is niggas to me. Like, the Asians where I'm from, the AB niggas, yeah. Asian boys, them is niggas. Them niggas. I mean, to us, California, we different. We super populated. I mean, if you in Atlanta, I can see what you're saying. Like, they don't, Mexicans don't say that. They don't yeah. be doing that nigga shit. But yeah, I've been here, in Atlanta for this years. This is, this is. And here nigga, too, yeah. Man. They say it and like, you can in just Indiana, tell they haven't been no, through nothing. I don't expect no. Mexicans say nigga in Indiana. Yeah. But I think hip hop got everybody saying nigga they too. They do, though. and we're responsible for that. We're responsible for how much we say it. If we if we lead by example, then we can't be mad at for somebody for saying it. But we trying to make or we made it cool. I'm not finna stop people from saying nigga. I'm not finna stop anybody yeah. from saying. You know, I'm not gonna you know fight black you for people doing letting black, you you know black people letting other races say nigga for money, right? Because there's so many songs and lyrics that you know niggas are saying nigga and mm. they letting they fans say it in the crowd I'm not that so, sensitive though I understand what she's I'm saying she saying more like on some protective shit like no no I'm fuck? not I don't care it's just but annoying. what I'm saying is people saying fuck. other races can't say nigga right mm. well but you they just let said they the hard fans. R so they for sure can't say nigger <laughs> nah it's I ain't crazy. saying nigger you just said the hard R yo nigger is crazy I said bro. nigger <laughs> you just yo, said hell run the tape back run that back I ain't gonna say nigger hell no insert sound effect T hell no I ain't saying no motherfucking nigger that <laughs> Woo. You did say it. You Run just said it back. seven times now. Hell no. Hard yeah, hard. I just said it now. <laughs> you niggers. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Whoa. Yeah. You know, yeah, whatever. No. It's not. It's no big deal to me. If you want to say it, I, I'll just remove myself from the room if I'm you or annoying me too bad. But it's like, I'm not about to fight you because you said a word. Like, you know, my mom used to joke like... Cause somebody at school, you know, you think you have to defend your mom, mm -hmm. like about words. So somebody at school would be like, "Oh, that's why your mom's a bitch." Da -da -da. And my mom's like, "I don't care. I am can a you, bitch. Like, can, don't." Can you be pro black and date outside of your race? Yeah, for sure. How? But I just personally believe my son is black. So How? Like, why I, you you don't believe that? No, you don't, you don't believe in I'm dating other races. You sure. can't be pro black and date outside of your race. But I feel like if you pro love. black, pro black, I get what you're saying. Like you pro black. Like, how you gonna get are mad we, at saying somebody else? Are you on some pro black shit? He is. I not, my mama is dark skin, but you're and, women. And I'm not dating. But you're women. I'm not now dating is different. No. Fucking around, I fuck around. I love everybody. <laughs> Feel free to I fuck love, around with me. The women, but I'm, I'm saying with? talking about bringing somebody to your mama house. And y'all kissing and all the shit. No, you putting your thing in her enough is enough is enough. I've seen you with never a black woman. You, that's a damn never. lie. Never. Ooh. You done, you done never snorted ever. coke. Wait, never, wait. ever. That's you, a lie. Never. That's, so you don't date this black women? I never seen him with a like black girl. Women? Why you it like might be women? timing. I'm just saying. She's trying, she trying to get might, a click, babe. Hey, baby, it might be timing, but uh -huh. I've never seen you with a black woman. It you might never be did black woman? I, you What's know, up with you, bro? I'm so, I'm so that. Well, I wouldn't even go with back and forth with somebody. I've I've seen him mixed. with about two Asians. <laughs> well, light skinned women or black women, but you I've seen him with about two Asians. I seen you with a light skinned woman. I seen you with a Spanish looking something. Hey, <laughs> hey, you like you got flavors. He got flavors for sure. He's the from thing, the Bay. The thing about yeah. me, they different the, from the, Haiti, the Bay. Haiti. They okay. different in the Bay. They they, they, they get all Haiti. different. The thing about me, sizes, colors, anything pretty. green, blue, orange. Hey, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> like I said, mm -hmm. feel free to approach me. You understand me? <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is, you're taking home. I never home. slept with any. I never closed my eyes with a white woman. Why? I never been nowhere with my eyes have closed. Have you put your body? Race. Have you inserted your thing inside I of a white woman? Inserted my you think that make you and everything? You think that make you better than us? <laughs> everything. Everything. You fucked the white all man. The, all the never. cultures. I've never kissed. Oh, my first kiss was a white boy. I was. I was like. See, seven. her first kiss was, was a white seven. boy. No. Was you, like, your first kiss was when you were seven. It wasn't really a kiss. Hey, wait, 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 your first kiss when you were seven? I might Your pussy eight. was getting wet at five. Oh! You over here trying to judge me. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody hey, get this fast-ass little girl in Denver. That is so inappropriate. Christina. I, my, it Colorado. wasn't really a kiss. Your first It wasn't a kiss. I don't kiss. know what y'all doing in Colorado. Clear. We were sitting and playing on the playground, and the boy leaned over and, like, I bobbed and he weaved and we like barely touched and then he ran. Nah, he weaved. Actually, I'm lying. He was Mexican. His name was Jose. Now you lying. Nah, he was white. Now he you lying. Mexican. <laughs> he like he was Mexican. Now you lying. No, no. Let me tell you. He was fucking no. lying. My first kiss, that was when I was super duper duper young. Like I was in grade school and it was his name was Jose. He put his arm around me. He turned, Bob weaved, and then he ran. But my first kiss. How did kiss, you kiss at seven? Was it, it Bob or weave? It was Bob and weave. Like kind of boop, boop, and doop. You know what I'm saying? 
saying? But my first kiss uh -huh. was in the sixth grade. I kissed a white boy. His name was Cole. That's the only white boy I've ever kissed. Are you a changed woman? <laughs> I've never dated a white man. Your first kiss was a white man. It was not. Well, my first kiss technically was a Mexican. His but you, they can't say nigga. He can say nigga. He, after can, he, he definitely you. can't say that. He's, he's a, like he's essay. A he's an essay. He's like, an essay. Don't disrespect well, me. No, no, we, it's not disrespectful. Is that he's normal? A, hey, a, everybody put a comment. What was your first he's kiss? Say, he's an essay. Yeah. Why do respect a bro like that? Hey, when put a comment right now. What was your first kiss? They Christina's know what I first mean, kiss was at seven. Yo, stop. You wow. <laughs> you Man, wanted that crazy. song, was your, When was your first kiss? 13. Liar. No, 13. Liar. For sure. I put my tongue all in everything. That's kind of late. I, mean, you my, I didn't older. even make out with somebody until my, after high school. I, my first time having sex was after high school. The first time you had sex was after high school? You grew up and you was an ugly nigga? I grew up, I was ugly. No. He was fat. Senior year. Senior year. That's late. I was, I That's was. Not a, after high school. I was though. damn near retired by my senior year. No, I, didn't, I wasn't doing no. I was bad. No, I wasn't doing no makeup. The girls didn't no. like me. I don't know. Why? Not the same girls. She didn't like me. They all like, I ain't even here. Well, how did you look? Maybe he just didn't want to be nasty. I was rude. Nasty. You over there was popping. I was, I'm talking to play slap ass Friday and say, like, shut up, bitch. Fuck you. You like, would say I was that? Mad. I was a bad. What? Uh, but I play hoop. I play a sport and shit. So my partners knew I was cool. But yeah. I had homegirl and shit. But they never came. Do you, on to can me. I ask you a question? What's up? Do you call your women the b word? Like, do you call them? Do that? I call what? Your women the b word? The like, b word. I mean, no, are you in a relationship? No, no, no. My woman is my queen. So, but you never referred to her the b word. You've never said that word to her. No. Ever. But if a nigga disrespect me, I'm like, you talking to my bitch? I'm gonna fuck you up. Yeah. Okay, but to her though. Nah. Yeah, because I That's I'm stupid. writing a book right now, and chapter one is you never call a man a bitch, and then in parentheses it says or a hoe. <laughs> For real, mamas. That's do you no, call no. do you call men nigga? No, not anymore. But like, she be lying. No, no, you be lying. No, I'm talking about the men that I'm dating. I'm talking about uh, the men. You I'm called me with. a nigga early. No, I'm playing. No, I didn't. <laughs> See, they cap. They cap. She I said, don't talk up, like nigga? that to them. Like, if if it's a homeboy, like I don't even talk like that to you. And we be out nah, and stuff. Nah, well, nah. I don't talk no, like I don't come a woman no bitch. But I'm telling you, back then, that's why girls didn't like me. Yeah. I wasn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Why girl women crazy. shouldn't call a, a man the n word? The n word? Yeah, nigga. I don't. Uh, I mean, it's some men like that, so it's whatever. But I personally, I can't speak on what a man should do. You should talk to a man about that. Mm. But I can tell you as a woman. Why don't, you don't call a man an N-word? I don't do it just because I, I'm just trying to elevate. And if I'm going to elevate, my vocabulary has to elevate. And my yeah, I'm mindset. on her path. You know what I'm, saying? Like, I'm working on it. I'm, I'm fucking Yeah, I'm up. working on it. Yeah. I'm really working And it's like sometimes it's, it's no other word to express that emotion, like in a song. So I might still say it. Mm. But I'm just talking about in my everyday language. Yeah. I'm... I'm I'm in nursing school. Music different. You right. You know what I'm saying? So music, we talking about personal. Yeah, personal, yeah, yeah. Music is like, like I'm not handling my man any way that feels like a homie because I want to make lines clear. Um, and I'm not handling him in any way that emasculates him. That's why I would never call him a bitch. Like, now, it with matter. me, if you're dealing with me like as a woman, like my woman dealing with me, like you do kind of, like if you too soft, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm super duper like. Yeah, you got to be on me, but it's like, learn tactics like like you saying tactics instead of saying you a bitch ass nigga like ratchet shit learn tactics like give me a look like you still gotta be on me cause then I'ma just oh, what you if I see I'm you not? weak I'ma just run all over you and be <laughs> no, like no no oh, nothing shit, about me is weak um, I just don't speak to men in an emasculating way what anymore. do you define a weak woman Oh, what do I define a weak woman I think oh, you can say anything Go to ahead. her you can do anything to her you can she she has no goals of her own, no motivation she, of her everybody own. Everybody has access to everybody it. Everybody has access to it. Not She's even just friendly. guys, like females. Like, you know how females can ruin a girl life, too? Like, she like, oh, they're my friends. Like, uh -huh. anybody have access to you is like, you just weak. You just letting people run all over you. Plus, you're not able to, like, I think, manage your relationship because you're so worried about what everybody else got going on. Like, he said the friend thing. Mm -hmm. Like, your friend will text you and be like, girl, let's go out tonight. And, like, no, my man said no. Oh, fucking. It's like, yeah. I'm managing my relationship right now. Yeah. So, if this isn't going to work for my house, I got to come home to an unhappy home. I'm not going out. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not dire for me to be outside. It's dire for me to get this situation right if I'm in love. I'm not talking about lightly dating. I'm talking about I want this person. I want to have his baby. I'm not going to jeopardize those things. Yeah, I, I, fell, I fell in love first night. You really? fall in love the first that's night. Not, yeah, yeah, mm. that's a thing. That's I, a I'm thing. glad you didn't lie. What? That's a thing. How? 
No, my ex, we Stop met lying. the first night. I ain't fell in love. Y'all are different, no, man. No, I fell in love the first you, night you and spent got, six years got, with him. You gotta... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 you understand? You understand me? You got some... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hella funny. So what you mean, like... Um, when you get there, you understand. Yeah, I've definitely mm. done that. I met my ex and we spent six years together from a first night situation. Like and y'all not love. together? No. You see, that shit didn't work. That's sad. No, we're How not together. How you feel together. about we that? We haven't been together for six years. How you feel about that? Um, I don't feel any way. I just recently ran into him. And sometimes I'll I be thinking like, oh, if he gets his stuff together, like it could work. But You I've, think that while you with your new dude? No, I have no dude. I'm single. So you let bro just, put, he putting in work and you just like, you're not my dude though. But you the should. The dude that's paying for the studio. He paying for studio, but you dreaming about other bro. I'm not dreaming about anybody. This is how gross, what do you think? You didn't hear me say that. That's I, mean. You look at just putting shit in my mouth. I am. So what I'm I said not, wait, was, wait, wait. pause. Yeah, that's wild. How that's a pause you a female? Putting words in my mouth. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> it's supposed to go in your mouth. <laughs> Don't you a female? Don't play with me. No, I love everybody. I'm just saying, <laughs> Look, girls are saying pause now. That's no, out of pocket. Don't do we, that. Oh my! I didn't. God. I didn't mean. Don't do that. But you see what I'm saying, though. Oh, mama, I'm boy. sorry. <laughs> Talk about drama, Jesus. Listen, I don't think about nobody right now. Like That's, I said, I'm okay. School. I'm not really thinking about nobody. I got you know somebody. I I, I if I if you can fuck with a white man. I would. I I wouldn't say. Look, my mom's last name is Farrakhan, so What'd I have to move different. Like, what that got to do with anything? Would you date a white man? Date a white man. At this moment in my life, I wouldn't date anybody. <laughs> oh, What's my your son? God. I'm a Virgo. Shit, so you just be lying? Day after Beyonce. <laughs> Uh, why are you bringing Beyonce like that? Day after Beyonce. <laughs> I'm a virgin. Day after Beyonce. Kobe, Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kiki Palmer. Um, I see you called Mexicans essays, but they can't say nigga. Essay is not. That's a, like that's not a bad word. Wet back would be the bad word. Essay is not a bad word. No. Essay. Yo, you serious? Essay is not a bad word. Are you saying that from your opinion or like that's what you? Think it's that's a fact. what I know as a as a Cause Latin you woman. Because you Latin, yeah, like that's not a bad word. Essay, that's not a bad word. Essay, that's not wet back is wrong. Uh huh. Essay is not wrong. But they can't say nigga. No, only person that can say nigga is a nigga. That don't make sense. Yes, that it does. Sense. Around essay? me, a Mexican can say some nigga. Essay say is nigga called say. a. He what's, what's up, up my nigga? What's up, nigga? <laughs> well, that's the your type <laughs> of essay. Nigga, what's up, nigga? <laughs> I don't know. You guys, let me know if that. What do essay mean? It, I, I, shit, S A. I, I thought if that's you don't like no. Then it's like, how are we supposed to get to the bottom? I don't know, but what I don't. essay mean? What essay mean? It's like, it's like a homie, but it's like. It's a homie. But it's like a Mexican. Like, but that's, that's when, like the Mexican version of nigga, right? Like that's like the Hispanic version of nigga. Like a little, I mean, kinda, not, not really. It's not really, but kinda. So when Hispanics say nigga, they're not meaning nigger. They're saying like, what's, what's up, up, homie? Nigga? Yeah. So it's, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> but essay bless you. I don't you. think you. I don't think anybody means. Me no Mexican ever in his life has ever came up to me. Not even saying like I'm some hard tip nigga. No Mexican ever said what's up, nigga. Like he on some vicious. aggressive. Yeah, it's like what's up, my nigga. What's up, bro? I mean, you're allowed it's just to an let them call you whatever they want. But, but if you straight white, I don't white want them to call me that. A blonde, like Justin Bieber looking nigga. What's Can up, you my nigga? be pro black and date outside of your race? Yeah, you're not answering I that question. I think so. Yes, me right now with the mindset I have, my son is black. Therefore, a black man needs to raise my black son. You got a son? No, but I intend to have one. So you should be making up stuff. No, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'm, you had a son. I'm, I'm telling you in the future, I want a kid, and I know that he's going to be black. Him, you want your kid to be black, for sure. My kid is already black because I'm a black woman. All right. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. If you have a kid <laughs> that's <laughs> with somebody that's not like black. Stephen Curry. <laughs> Steph Curry's kids We ain't going to be speaking on Steph, man. That's the GOAT. Just That's the legend. They have what about Logic features? and them other niggas? Just because they have light features doesn't we make ain't talking them about not Steph. black. There's a level. You Y'all act like there's a level to black. That's a problem. There's not a level. Your no, light him. skin makes you Point black. Yeah. Okay, him. so yeah. He did that. It really, and you've done this before, so you've let me done tell that you. Shit, boy. Light, you're light skin, but you're a black man. You're gonna no, get I'm treated. Brown. You're gonna get treated the same as a black, dark skinned man. You're For a sure. black man. I'm a black woman. For no, sure. y'all not. Y'all not finna get treated like me. Stop lying. 
What's up? You there? No, what? you're actually yeah. wrong to the wrong to the to the right white person. I'm blacker than y'all. No. So that's, my, my that's, opinion is more valid. No. That's hella ignorant. You can't this, say this that. This is an ignorant ass conversation. Y'all I'm an ignorant. ignorant ass nigga. It's okay, okay, and it's okay to be that. But and nobody. So that. you answering the question that I feel like on this interview, you trying to seem like. This, 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 this is how no, that's I really am. how I am. Now she really. Like I'm really that. like that. Really like this. No, yeah, that's really me. Black babies. No, yeah, that's really me. Me. I love everybody. I love everybody. I, I love too. everybody too, but my respect needs to stay intact. And I'm letting you know, black is black. It doesn't matter if I'm lighter than you or if you're darker than me. I'm a black woman. When I have yeah. a child, he has to write black on his paper, just like yeah. you got to write black. You can't put more black than you or more black than you on I the agree interview. With that. Black I is black. When you yeah. register your last name, but you, you, said you can be pro black and date outside of your race. That's what you're telling me. You can be. I'm pl I'm pro black, but if a white man treats me better than anybody I've ever treated, I'm not gonna turn that opportunity Hell down yeah, do to love thing. somebody. Do but that, I'm not out here like where the white men at. No, like <laughs> you kissed the white man your first. When kiss. I was, <laughs> when I was. That's your first love, the white man. <laughs> His name was Cole too. Yep. Cole, he was cool. Yeah, blue eyes. Like you he liked was, it. He was cool. <laughs> he was cool. Like he was cool. Shout out to all he the white people. He bought me flowers to school. We being mean. Is we being mean to the white people? The first, the first man to ever buy me flowers. He racist, huh? Was white. He's he super racist. racist. He's I'm super not racist. racist. You're very racist. Are we being mean to the white people? Yes. We is. Damn, my fault, y'all. The woods. I apologize, y'all. I'm just uh on some nigga shit right now. M. The hunkies are, don't like me. Is. <laughs> is. Damn, will, I love everybody. White I folks, love I know I love y'all. It's just. I don't like niggas. I don't like nothing black. I do. I don't like no nothing black. I well, do. I just don't like when it gets I don't angry. like this nigga. See, you play. <laughs> Go ahead and switch it up. What you got next? Come I'm on. Fucking with you. Um, yeah, that was a bad segment. Room. That yeah. was a bad segment. We, go ahead and post it, though. All right. Yeah. Y'all okay with that segment? I'm okay no, with anything I say. If she not okay with it, don't post that shit. No, I'm okay mm -hmm. with anything Let's I say. I but I want you to know, this is really was... how I am. Like, I'm Girl, really like this. you are a black woman. You, it's good. No, no, not the. that's not up for debate. Yeah, that's, yeah. What, that's a fact. Yeah, I'm you telling is, you, you, like, the my femininity and my prissy, this is really me. Like, just Ooh. like you a hood nigga, What's that? I'm really prissy. I'm really feminine. Like, Oh, prissy, prissy. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. me. Hell that. For sure, but I box too, so what's up? You want to fight? Oh, shit, get on you. Yeah. So I got some I promotion box. I could do. Okay. And we can rent out an event space. Okay. And I can host a fight for you. Come on. And we can go half of the percentages. He can, open the, he can do the podcast. In I want to, I want to, you know who I want to podcast? going to be in the back, nigga. I'm finna be in the back doing the podcast with the people. You got to interact with the people. Oh. I would be down to do that. I'm letting you know right now. If somebody challenged me to a fight, I'll be down. You talking. All Talk. right. It's going to be people that's, it's some people that want to whoop your ass for I the like BBL money. comments. I want a bitch with a BBL to try to whip my a ass. A white bitch They're with a BBL. They got someone around the corner that be willing to whip your They're ass with a BBL. They're tired. They're tired. Watch. Watch how many girls start taking these BBLs out. Some of them look great. Let me start by saying that. Some of these women with these BBLs look phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Some of them Some of them look fucking retarded. I don't even. <laughs> Silly. That's shit. Goofy. That's the wrong word, but that's okay. You disrespecting the BBL community. I don't give a fuck. I'm telling you my perspective. And I think them bitches look crazy. And I think they're starting to feel like they look crazy. And that's why they're reverting back. Like, mm. the top of the top baddest girls in the world are taking that shit out. Because you know that shit is silly. What? Fucking squeezing into a size 14 every day. Like, that's crazy. I don't, I don't, yeah. That's just me, though. I don't care, but I'm not an ass guy. Really? Yeah. Nah. What you no. like? Face. Mm. Face right. and feet. Yeah. Face and Face feet. And feet? <laughs> yeah. That's a real thing. I yeah. like... I like face and ass. You like ass? He what loves you gonna do with ass. It though? I like, love ass. Be real. Like, what you gonna do with ass? Like? Get behind that big motherfucker. I mean, you gonna eat do it. Do my Dougie. You gonna lick it. You gonna do all that shit, but like, it's just ass. It's there. What? What you like about ass? I don't, do you like, I don't get excited do you like when BBLs? I see big booties. Like, that shit. I love like, everybody. You're so careful. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. Are you taking the BBL White, home? White, black, Asian, persuasion, Are you taking Korean? a BBL home? Am I taking a BBL to home? To meet your mother, like a big one. A big one. Extra large BBL. BBLs is crazy, bro. It's 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 a limit to how big it can be. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I I, I take love one. everybody, but your ass can't be past this dynamic. Like you got some crazy ones out here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I love everybody. Teeth too. Teeth is a huge thing. Teeth, yeah. yeah. That's what a big thing for me. What about smell? Y'all ain't talking smell about hygiene. Too. Smell, yeah. Hair, smell. I just don't feet. feel like I gotta I like tell the you. Shit, the little shit. The yeah. hygiene shit is key too. Like, ass is like the least thing I'm worried about. What? You don't need to have ass to fuck with me. 
I love that. Ne- you got to be like a prissy gr- woman, like super like hygiene and just a Clean. real girly girly. I'm girly. But like that not, shit. If you like just got a big ass booty and you're not girly girly, I'm but not going to go for you. Let's not ass. make it seem like BBL girls are dirty because I think no, sometimes no, 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 we no, do no, be no, doing no, that. No. And that's I not- do question that. Like, how do you wipe your booty? Yeah. You don't think about that? What? How you wipe your booty? Because it's so much it's ass. paper. But you no, got. No. It's like you got to lift. Because you used tripping. to wipe in your ass. But <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, you got a point. You wiped the BBL ass before. <laughs> <laughs> Man. No, that's a, that's a good point. Damn. Think about that. So, yeah, so everybody, I just want to let y'all know that he said that he has the limit of the type of ass he's taking home. So that's not just me being judgmental. I'm just more upfront about my judging. He's going to hide it behind the curtain. He's not hiding it. I'm not talking shit. But you hiding your, your judgment. You say you're not going to take a table booty home to your mama. You just said that. No, I would take a big ass booty to my mama. Not a I'd table take booty. A few. Not a table booty. What's a table booty? Yeah, what's that? You know what a table booty is. <laughs> No, no, no. Not even flat. I mean, that motherfucker could sit a cup up on it. Them, the big BBLs, the extra large No, BBLs. I ain't fucking with that. Nobody's taking that I ain't home. never brought... I ain't never... It's like an adventure. No like, ass. it's like... Oh, I can't say that. I'm not gonna say that. What? Say no, it. Come I on. You popping that. all that shit. Now you holding back. Christina. Say it. Since you so motherfucking tough. <laughs> I'm a boxer. <laughs> yeah. I'll beat you up, Haiti. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? She just... It's, I know it's you a cool. thug. It's like... My homeboy has a fetish with um, small people. How you know I, your home? Okay. Right? Is that the correct term? I want to use the correct term. With small people. Like. That, that don't sound right. <laughs> Say it. That don't sound right. Say it. Your homeboy got everybody. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I'm telling y'all. Your, <laughs> 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 bro, your homeboy. My homeboy, got a he's fetish a comedian. With little people. He has a fetish with little people. That's the correct term. Uh-huh. Or the he ignorance would say midgets, but the correct term is little people. Mm-hmm. So um he has a fetish, right? And it's like an adventure for him. Like I don't understand it and I don't get into it. I don't judge nobody, but it's like an adventure for him. It's like a, a fetish. Like like some white men fetishize black women. Like, wow, she's black. Yeah. Like, or her hair's different. Like they fetishize. That's what I'm afraid of. Like, you not with me because you really love me. You with me because this is different for you, right? Mm-hmm. Long story short, um, I think about that. Like, dude, I don't I can't do it. I think you'd be overthinking, baby. I can't do it. I don't want to <laughs> say it. I don't want to say it. It's just it's not. Really, in reality, we just got to be happy. Yeah, you're right. You know, I didn't, How y'all feel about go men that. painting their nails? You know, the industry. You understand me? What's, what it's looking like, man? You going to paint your nails, P? Uh, bro, you see? Not even shellac, though, clear? No. You don't do clear? No. <laughs> Oop. I never do that. Like, they, they would do that. But me, it's like, I feel you with the, the clear shit, but it's like me. Like, do you get them done, though? I should. I should get them done. You never get your nails done? <laughs> I should. No, I should. I never get them, I never get them done. You never did it before? But all, he said paint your nails like black. Yeah, yeah, like no, color. But have no. you ever got them done, period? No, I haven't got them done, period. Never? My, my toes, nothing. You never put your feet in the water and let them rub them? A long time ago, when I was like 17, That's a 18. luxury experience. Yeah. It's I got nice. nice feet, though. You be getting your shit No, but in reality, I'm not against yeah, it, though. I'm not against that. I love but that. But what he's saying, I'm against it. Like, yeah, I'm that. not for me, but I don't I fuck with, with it, the the question I ask him. I don't fuck with that. <laughs> I'm, from, I'm from Northern Cal, so I know how to play it off. I, I don't see nigga paint nails. Hey, I love everybody, bro. Power to you. At the end of the day, <laughs> the beginning of the week, the first of the month, the end of the day, mm-hmm. power to you. Like, but me, I'm not doing that, Pete. I'm yeah, I feel you. I'm not either. Much. I'm not. I'm not okay with that. Mm-hmm. It's not my preference. I don't want nobody painting their nails with me. Like, you could go get... I love a guy to keep his nails manicured. That's sexy. I love that. Mm-hmm. But, like, even even buffing the toes is odd. Like, who sees your toes besides me? Mm-mm. Just get them cut, trim. Don't have no nasty-ass long toenails, and then we good. Yeah, I do a lot of shit other niggas don't do. Like, I'm a rough type of nigga. When I take showers, I don't wash my legs. <laughs> no, I just, let the, I just let the soap and water get it. I do this. I squeeze the sponge and the soap going in and I'm my Boy, your leg probably stank like a motherfucker. Your leg probably smell like hella. It's a leg. It's a I'm a football nigga. Like, at the end of the it's day. It's probably like, hella 1942 juice on your leg. That nigga be leg smell like real. a club. Upper body you know, smell like dog. Do- your so. reason for not washing your legs is because you're a hood nigga? No. What's your reason? I, I play sports my whole life, so it's like, what the fuck is on my legs? Dirt. Just, get the sponge, squeeze it with the soap, go in there, let the water rinse. <laughs> nah, you I'm not. If a nigga bend it down in the shower doing this, like, 
Like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> wow. I'll pick my foot up and do this. I'll get my foot. I'll stand up and do it. I'm not bending down and do nothing. Like, mm. You feel me? So you traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> he heard that turn. Don't drop the soap. He like, I ain't never dropping the soap. Wow, that's crazy. Like, if I watch... You gotta so, stop. I prop my leg up. <laughs> I prop my leg up on the on the lower edge, like where the tub is. Yeah, you a girl. One, and yeah. I wash it, and I see the dirt coming off my leg, like if I went to the gym. There's dirt on this nigga this leg right now while we talking. on your thing. Like, help me. Y'all gotta stop that. Your legs is hurting. <laughs> they goes... <laughs> <laughs> that nigga leg smell like a Project X function right now. It's a lot of shit I don't do though. That like, nigga's leg smell like I he ain't... just got off the plane from Mexico. That's nigga... racist. That's not How racist. is that racist? That's not racist. It sounds like he got off a of vacation. His leg, nigga leg still oh, on vacation. Okay, okay, okay. You cleaned it yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, mama's. That's not racist. That's not racist. Um, you, you kiss your watch... man's feet? <laughs> you want to see my feet? You a kiss. Why would I want to see? Oh, I thought you said show me your feet. I'm feet. like, what? No, 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 no. no I said you'll kiss it? your man's feet? No. Why? I would not. <laughs> no. Why? And he actually had cute feet, but... Why? No, because he don't want that. <laughs> if you want that, that's no, cool. No, no, no. I don't think saying, there's like, anything wrong with... You wouldn't with, do that? Just would you I'm kiss doing? a man's foot for a million dollars? Yeah. Twice. But you wouldn't kiss your man's feet? And he no, he man? don't just want his feet kissed. Oh, you... you but he want his feet This why you don't got a man I want to do... <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want a man to want me to kiss his Yo feet. Black man. Nah. But if I fall in love with somebody and he he's like, baby, kiss my feet. No, 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 no. He should not say that. Get under the covers, boom, boom, kiss his feet, say, I love you, King. Watch, he'll be a whole different nigga. He'll be like, she really loves <laughs> I'll give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try See, it. I could talk. I could talk some shit on here, but like, come on, we warmed up now. What's yeah, up? Yeah, we just loosen up, man. Come on, give me some of that drink. Don't put this on the clip, but give me some of that. Mm -hmm. Give me a little bit of that. Chomp, chomp. Yeah. What you high and drinking now? I don't drink. You know I don't drink. How you don't drink? You, you know know gonna I drink? Don't drink. Oh, cause I'm happy. I ain't. Okay. I ain't clipping this shit out. Clip so Fuck cool. you mean? I don't drink alcohol, y'all. Don't smoke. Just say you don't drink alcohol, but you enjoying yourself so much on here that, that you gonna sip a little bit. Take back T. All right, all right, that. all right. For sure, we ain't clipping this out though. This ain't it. You ain't got no pineapple juice or something. Nah, this straight thug mansion. Damn. What's up with that you? Damn me. All right, come on, Let me uh, shit. I some a little wine and some some water. Oh, I got no wine. We y'all need to sip because y'all finna yeah. talk about this nasty oh, shit. Mama. Nasty shit. Man, yeah. cat. <laughs> What's the nastiest thing you ever uh, experienced with having sex with a man? You go first. I ain't never had sex with no nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mama. Fuck she talking about. Oh, my God. This thug mansion. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't say the nastiest because... It's not like whatever. It's the typical boo wop boop boop boop. But the weirdest, can I tell you that? Mm -hmm. I'm embarrassed. I'm not. So basically, you know, like you, you, his chest to your back. So normal in their mission. What's that called? Doggy. That's not doggy, but it's just like flat. Okay, yeah, flat. yeah, yeah. Like, uh huh. As if you laid flat on top of me. Yeah, that's little booty shit. Women with big ass booties, you can't do that. She gotta arch that motherfucker so you can. But when oh, she's wow. small, you can just lay on top of her ass. Well, I got a little booty. I'm fine with that. So whatever. He's laying flat on top of me. Uh huh. Rotates, meaning his head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> his head was down by my feet but my heels so he's on top of me backwards I don't can even, you visualize this that's what i'm saying when it can happens i didn't do that position can it's, you you just reverse from the back you just flat on her and you just spin from the back that's what you're talking about so his yeah. face his his face facing your feet while he his fucking face you. was facing my heels while not he even my you. feet it and was it, backwards and it's in you from the back it was about to be oh you and you didn't like that well, it, it, it happened. I'm not lying. It was somebody I was dating, but I stopped. I really stopped messing with him from this moment on. From this moment on, he doesn't know why we're not cool, and this is why. Mm -hmm. We was. You born? No, no, no. It was so. This is my head. This is the head. Give us an example. Okay. This is my. <laughs> this is my head. This is his head. Right. This is normal way, but this is backwards. Right. So this is the top. So he reversed went this way, 
And then we like got up on our fours and was like bumping. Like, oh, this is so. Can you visualize? I can't visualize. It was I really, it was weird though to me. And I. Y'all know what she talking about? Some Colorado shit. That's a Colorado it wasn't shit. in Colorado. Yeah. She was in Denver with a white it man wasn't in Colorado. doing this freaky shit. And it wasn't a white man. And uh-huh. they really threw me off because it was like, damn, like we was going so hard for so long and like nothing weird happened. And then that happened and I literally stopped talking to him. So what was wrong with it? I don't know. It was really uncomfortable. Do you understand the, this position? Yeah, I did So what is it? So what's the problem? Man. Haiti baby that done this nasty shit. Okay, well. Yeah, you are oh, you boring. That's why you single. Okay. Yeah, man, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, what's next? What you, you, say? you think she's single because she's boring? No, <laughs> I think she's entertaining. <laughs> yeah, entertaining, verbally. Mm. But the way she's talking, you gotta listen. To, you know, who Sukiano is. Yeah. I need to listen. Now you to eating his other? ass. Now you eating his ass. You need to listen to some freaky shit. No, do I, I don't but want do, too much tra- freaky practice. shit. Too much freaky shit. See be me, like, what I didn't do some did crazy shit. Like when I was in my bed, my eye drunk her piss on top of shit. Squirt, oh, on top of shit. Feel me? Ass on top of shit. I'm a freak. Like, yeah, I'm fucking for like six hours. Oh. Yeah, we are fucking in the shower. I'm picking you up, throwing you gangway, and I'm banging my hood on dead homies. <clears throat> Shut up. <laughs> what? You on some prison shit. <laughs> Nigga, talking about what? I'm a real gangster. Like, what? When I fuck, I go, what? It's mine. You belong to me. Your soul is mine. Death so Row. Over here on some... Death Row is something. No, I, I'm pretty. I didn't like that. I'm from Colorado. <laughs> so, it's fine. So I the am nasty stuff you did was. See, my girl ain't even experienced that yet. She finna go crazy. All right, we finna try this at home. Right now, like, eating. You How said long piss, have y'all been drinking together? piss, piss, ass, all that. Whatever you want to do, if you want to do. You let. Would I you let a girl water, bath water? Like, would you fuck. ever eat somebody's shit? Nah, that's just shit. Like my, it's two things off limit. Your shit, and my ass, it's off limit. <laughs> Everything else. But I just sent the girl to the hospital before. How you send her to the hospital? Eh? They, um, her pelvis and she kept bleeding. And she had to go to the hospital. You yeah, gave she, her BB. That was, she was on her period. Nah. You gave her BB. <laughs> she just started a period. You yeah, thought you nah. did something. I had her head, her legs behind her head. I was just pounding too hard. Doctor told me I was pounding too hard. I was going too aggressive. And I was choking her. And then I was choking her hard. To the point where I was like, all right, my, my fault. I didn't know. I was just in the mud. So how did she start bleeding? And just I looked down. It was just coming out. And it wasn't her period? No. Now I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> this is starting. This is feeling very R. Kelly ish at this now. No, yeah, Hell that's no. crazy. You're um, I'm a gangster. Seasoned, crit. I guess you'd say. Seasoned. I'm, I'm 26. Seasoned. He just gets started. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not. <laughs> My time he's no, 30. He's gonna be eating shit. Maybe that is why I'm I'm single. Because I'm just not into nothing. You ever nothing. thought about why you single? You let your yeah, man pee on you? all the time. Why? Why you think you single? Why not? I think I'm single right now because I'm not available. But I also don't like anybody. Like You don't like the nigga that bought you to steal I your like time. him. I just, I'm ah! not. I don't have. Okay, so look. Let me put it to you. You from like, the Bay. Have you ever? No, she, no, she from the Bay. She's look, a player. Look, you ever. You she ever, a player for I, sure. I interviewed Too Short and he said that. That's funny. Yeah, she's a player, she a player for sure. But you ever. That's why she Have you ever is. had butterflies yeah. for somebody? I'm being for real now. You ever mm-hmm. had butterflies for somebody? Like, uh-huh. for real? Butterflies? Butterflies. Butterflies. Like, yeah, I got yep. that right now. Yeah. You do? Hell so like where yeah. you're really excited to see the person well, I'm like I can't breathe without you yes okay so I've had the, I've experienced a really high whether it was toxic or not it was a high level of love like something I felt something for another human like mm-hmm. I wanted I would have did anything for him right mm-hmm. so it's like now the little connections be weak to me like it's like cool we're entertaining he's a good person he's good to me he's nice to me and that's he most left important. you or you left him I left him I feel like you so focused night. on you and your career right now that that's in the way like it's in you? the way 100% yeah, like I go it's to gonna happen. I'm in an accelerated program right now so I, I I came here straight from school like have it, have a man ever left you no I've only been with one man and he never and he left me he did that shit and reversed you and you left no, him no it wasn't I know I wasn't saying I only slept with one man I've only been in one relationship for really? a man to leave me I've only Damn, been with one real? person yeah how old is you Old enough to know better, young enough. To <laughs> that was a good one. That was clear. You, you ain't know? supposed to ask a woman your Never. Her age. 
But um, that's, no, I'm asking everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that's important. That's important. What? But I'm yeah, like, have you ever age. had that feeling for somebody though? Yeah. And you had say you have it now, so it's like now anything after that, it's a weak connection. It's like forced. It's like oh, I want to be around somebody. Like, and sometimes I do just want to be around somebody, but like I would rather have like passion. Yeah, I feel. I'm the same way as you. You know? I'm just like you, bro. Like, I, I want to have mama. passion. <laughs> you my twin in them. Yeah, I'm <laughs> just like you, bro. Yeah. I be on some like, fuck everybody type shit. But like, but we'll still have somebody that, around. Yeah, it's like. Yeah. And then like, he kept trying to explain to me. He's like, yeah, this bitch is around every day. But he's like, I'm still thinking about you. Like, I'm still, I still miss you. I still love you. But he's like, I'm, these are time fillers. He told me that out of his own mouth. He's like, it's, it's a bitch right now in my room. He said, she's a time filler. When you called oh, me, I stepped that? out of the room. And yeah. what'd you say? Recently, he what told me that. He said he stepped out of the room, mm -hmm. like, um, he's like, when I seen your number pop up, I was like, I gotta see what she want. He stepped out the room. I was like, I was just calling to check on you. He told you that? And you believed it? I mean, yeah, because he ain't had a girlfriend in six years. And you believe that too? Mm-hmm. So you just be believing what he tell you? I mean, if he had a girlfriend, we would know about it. He's like that. Like, he's He gave outside. you access to the, the, the phone number one? No, not even that. It's not my dude. I'm saying he's he's known, so we're gonna know if he has a girlfriend. Like mm. I was the last person he was with. Because well, you known don't mean publicly people know you in a relationship. I wish you the best. That ain't my nigga. I don't care. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying come with on, that. Come on, twin. We better than yeah, that. Yeah, I'm don't saying. Get that that, that, that ain't that. Whip. <laughs> no, come on, Pete. No, he's cool though. I love him. Whatever. <laughs> player to player. We ain't got to sit no, together. That's dope. What about you? What's the nastiest thing you ever did? Shit, nasty thing I ever did was talk about this shit on camera. <laughs> Facts. <Yeah>. No bullshit. <laughs> right there. That's with why you. he's single now. No, you single because you got a lot of hoes. He ain't got no hoes. He got hoes. He the one with the hoes. You the one with the hoes. You got niggas buying. You still got no time hella shit. I'm over here paying for everything I got to do. <laughs> <laughs> you never had a sugar mama? Man, I love I had everybody. a sugar mama. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie to you. I had a sugar mama when I was You never stalking. had a sugar mama? I love she everybody. From, she was from the V2. That means she was from Vallejo. That he couple. Mm -hmm. And she would buy you stuff? Studio time, everything. Yeah. Have you ever had a sugar daddy? I've had some sugar. I've had... A sugar, but never had a daddy. Like he's having a sugar daddy. <laughs> Bro, you be lying. Like, <laughs> she, no, no. She just like nope. I had some sugar, but not no, a daddy. Bro, I, <laughs> I had a nigga take me to Dubai twice, and neither of them got nothing from me. A sugar I'm daddy. I'm tired of hearing that shit. I'm gonna tell you Dubai. it forever. I'm, 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 I'm not accepting this. anymore. These is lies. That's not you know. You know for show a fact Show me a picture that's with true. you in Dubai. What? I'll show you. A, well, come on. Did he shit on Two you? Two different no. equations. Did he shit on you? I'm no. tired of hearing this he shit. He took me to Dubai twice and never, ever. I even heard they be shitting him. Up. I, I, man, listen. Never even <laughs> kissed him. Look. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Take me to Dubai. God damn it. Crazy. This is the first trip. Hell no. I'm wait, wait. Cool. This is the first trip. That's me on the little. Look. How long did you last? This is the first trip. Look at what it says. Who took 2020. you? Andrew Tate. No, I'm, nah. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> Who that? Look, so that's the first trip, 2020, right? Here goes the second trip. That's Chicago. No, it's not. Look at the, <laughs> where, where they got that in Chicago? The Dubai Tower. Where they got that? The so what did he get out of it? Okay. He booked For the my people room, that's watching this. He booked my room. Uh -huh. He booked my flight, and it was first class. Mm -hmm. And I had my own room. And pay for everything on and the trip. And why did he want so you to come? Sugar Daddy. He wanted me to come. He why? wanted a company. I know some girls that would like to go to Dubai. Y'all believe this, y'all? Well, you also know put some girls comment. that would do it. No, the, listen, I could break you off. They could pay us. And then you can break them a boy, the deal on the trip. Look, this is you can get them another the price. Say? I'm trying to... What's the day say? Two years later. What's that? 2022. That Dubai. Two years later. That's Seattle. That's not Seattle. Get out of here. You see the big tower. Look, I'm Dubai, crazy. Dubai. So you didn't do nothing? Not a thing. And that's on you my, gra that's on my grandfather. You go tell your man? That's on my grandfather's soul. On my Are you banging spirit. on the hood? Okay, it's crib. On my grandfather's soul. You go tell your spirit. new man that you went to Dubai for free and didn't do nothing? I tell everybody I went to Dubai for free. And he, you think he's going to believe it? He don't have Look, to what bar that said? It said, I'm, I'm outside. I can literally go outside and enjoy myself. And... I don't what? have to do what these girls have to do. Like some of these girls. Wait, are really he paid for it. You didn't pay for it. I don't care who paid for it. It's nah, still that my life. Matter. No, no, it no. Don't listen, listen, who listen. Paid for it. I'm outside. As a, as a man, as a me, as not as a man. Did you go to as Dubai? As me being the opposite sex, I, I we think it do matter who paid for it because we oh, all about I'll ownership who, and like independence. Like no, I ain't paid for that. You shit. can't flex with other people's money. 
There why you go. What? Why? Oh, I'm I was not, in a Lamborghini. Well, That's your car? No, I don't care who car it is. It no, doesn't. No, 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 I'm not flexing nothing. Car. That but a girl can do that. Y'all can I'm get away with taking pictures nothing, in front of my though. Billy. That's being fake like, flexing. No, I'm not fake flexing nothing. I really went to Dubai and no, really, you really had the time went, of my life. But you didn't. I'm like, supposed to not bring it up because I didn't pay for it. Fuck out of here. We're going to change That's the subject. You know what I'm okay. saying? I, I, see what you I didn't pay for this Rolex on my wrist, but I get to wear it every motherfucking day. Well, this wonder, is mine. But you said it sets the bar. How does that set the bar? I'm I'm just saying it's 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 levels to this shit. How is levels Ooh, if you didn't Meek Mill? It's levels to this How? shit. How? Explain. Can't fuck my girl because it's levels to this bitch. No, people, people explain. People, explain people, people. how that's how that's levels. It's just what it is. If some girls go outside and they want fifty dollars and they'll give you head, and then some girls, girls are go spoiled. Out, so girls get everything. Women get to be so women. That's why I spoil my daughter. Yeah, you I'm like, should. The next nigga in her life, you finna spoil her too. Mm -hmm. because you, if you, you spoil her, she won't say, look luck. for somebody else to spoil her. But me, her. as a man, when I have a son, nigga, ain't nobody spoiling you, nigga. You better get on your own. That's crazy. If a woman want to spend money on you, I say go get your sugar mama. As a but man? I've had a sugar daddy. I just haven't had to give no, him no sugar. No, I don't like that. I don't do that. What you no. mean you had to give him no sugar? I didn't have to do anything, and that's on my grandpa. I would no, not play by my grandpa's name. You keep getting a lot of stuff, and you're not doing nothing. No. Well, this was... Uh, false advertising. She a false advertising. No, no, no. I've had a man <laughs> who also flag. did things for me. I've uh -huh. had a man, mm -hmm. but I've also had a man who I the never touched. The guy that took you to Dubai, that wasn't your man? On my soul. It wasn't your man. On my soul. I never kissed him. On my soul. That's not good. one peck on my soul. I would not lie. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. I'll tell you. Yeah. I've had men that I've taken trips with who I have been with. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for me, too. Would you, would you, how would you feel if your girl told you that? Because you said before cause, you because basically because basically you saying you earlier in the I episode, mean listen you saying you being mindful of things you do because for your future husband that's right? me being mindful My I went to opinion, Dubai and I didn't if sleep if you ask a man what he think like really it don't matter if I'm gonna fuck with you I'm gonna I'm not gonna believe you as soon as you tell me that but I'm gonna still fuck with you yeah you're not gonna like, so, so you might as well do what you have to do right you're if not I gonna fuck believe you, me but I'm still be gonna like, tell you baby I didn't even do that I'm gonna be like I don't believe you but you still my girl come on. But I'm not gonna believe you. Like, I went to you Dubai crazy? twice. So it go, so it goes back to yeah. being I'm a whole with you though. So it, it goes past. back to being a hoe in your past don't matter. Yeah, it really. I I'm think not it does. I mean, that past shit. How? Because what's the difference between a girl that went to Dubai and had sex to go to Dubai versus the woman that went to Dubai and didn't have to say she didn't have sex? You might as well have sex. I'm, a, I'm not gonna believe. I did. I wasn't attracted to him. Okay. I mean, yeah, for sure. Either time. I'm happy for you. That's good. That's God blessing. You know, God is good. So would you would have went on that trip if you had a man? Because you didn't do nothing with no, the guy. No, that wouldn't have gone. That would I never. He would have never had the opportunity to ask me if I wanted to go on the trip. If I had a man, I was. I'm single. Mm -hmm. I was outside, and he asked me, "Do you got? You want to go to Dubai with us? We're going to Dubai tomorrow." I said, "Wow, great, love to." <laughs> I got a passport. What yeah. do I need to do? Nothing. Everything's taken care of. He put the hotel under my name. I swear on my soul. Like now, the I, old me would think that too. The old me would think like, oh yeah, she's doing. It. But the new me, I got a little, I got a little chicken. Yeah. So new me would pay for you to go to buy while watch the kids and be like, let me chill with the kids and chill. Go ahead with your friends. Yeah, like you when you me? have money, like you can do things like yeah, that. Yeah. I knowing that I I got money now. Now I know I can. Fly you out, fly you out, fly you out, fly you out, all to Dubai with and me. Come on, honest, and not fuck all four y'all. He had somebody to. Fuck to with yeah, he had somebody to ride the jet skis with. He had somebody That's to go to dinner with. Think. He had somebody not to ride all the rich niggas. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, because we know niggas. he not tricking. He is an advocate for. He's against tricking. I'm not against tricking. You're I'm against a, it. I'm against tricking on unnecessary shit. No, that's that's real. <sighs> if if you my girl, yeah, I fly you out. Can my friends come? Do can they pay for themselves? Exactly. He said the same thing the other day. Yeah. When I see saying. niggas out here like going to the Atlanta, Atlanta different. Ah, place, we was just talking about. They paying Atlanta. for girl. They paying for her and her friends all they need. Yeah. Yep. And girls are getting accustomed to that. And when I step in, I'm like, <laughs> shit. I love a man that but could like take I'm care of me. I'm from Northern California. My, friends, I'm, my job really? is like, I if love I be my that. woman, I fuck and with what, you. And what? And what? And in return, what do that man get? I mean, it, I'm his. Like, that was my man. He would pull up and I would be out with my homegirls. Like, it was honestly some What's the biggest shit. prize about a woman? Loyalty. No. Respect. No. I'm, you're asking a woman. That you can create life. I mean, cool, but... Cool? Cool. You're like, women can create... No, women can create life, yes, but a man could also go adopt a kid and be a father or, or you, inhabit no, a kid. No, 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 but no, that's no. that's not the greatest the, prize the to me. I think the biggest thing about a woman, a woman is that you can create my life. You ask me. Yeah. So you asking no, me or thinking, you telling I'm me? You told me your opinion, and I said, what? Okay, I don't disagree with it, but yeah. my opinion is the biggest thing about a woman 
is you can create life. Yeah, I mean, that's obvious though. Mm, that's like it's, that's what you can't do, but I think the best a biggest thing for a woman for a man is of course you give him a family, but men don't respect that shit every day a woman gets pregnant and gets cheated on and and like her man's outside while she's at home crying and wilding and now she's going through postpartum depression. Do you believe depression. in marriage? That sounds traumatic. You been through that? I don't have children, but I I literally witness women all the time. Like we see it on we see it every day. Women are pregnant. They man cheated on them. We see this every day. I see, and I, I do see women so if, that's with a man and happy and successful. I do. I, so see, I see that, that too. too. Of I course. See it's, but it's always two of everything. But I'm saying like, I just think that long story short, I just think that women, the best thing you could do for a man is like love him unconditionally. That would be my answer. Love him unconditionally. Yeah, the best thing you do for a man? Okay, I yeah. think the best thing you could do for a man, especially a broken man or what you guys would consider a hood nigga who probably wasn't raised off of love, is love him unconditionally. Even though you, if you say you love this person like you love this person and you mm -hmm. can't live without them, then there's things that are going to happen that you're not going to like or that you're not mm -hmm. going to want to deal with. But unconditional love, that doesn't mean you always have to even stay. But unconditional love is forgiving, it's gentle, and it's kind. And I think... That's sure. the biggest thing a woman could do for a man is love him unconditionally when he's broken, when he's making bad decisions, when he's being an alcoholic, when he's being outrageous, like you love a man through that. And that's, I think, how you pull men up out of the slumps, like real love, because a lot of them haven't had it. You Yeah, women would be pick and choosing who they'd be submissive to. Yeah, yeah. for so, sure. For yeah. sure. On oh, mama. Yeah. No. God damn. For me, I really, I think the hardest part for me is like, when when women when I do encounter women, the hood shit do come out. But it's like s something deep inside of me be like, I don't, I'm, this not me, you know. Like I'm really a good, pro I'm a good nigga, I'm a good man, I'm a good person. I'm not no nice ass nigga though, if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm a good man, bro. Listen, bro, I'm a good man, I'm a good person. I am a king. I can treat a queen right, but I'm not no nice ass nigga. So it's like that makes I be sense. Battling that, I be battling that, like. Someone make it confused like all oh, this gangbang shit, but it's like, bro, it's just like, you understand? I've been doing this for twenty six years. You've been gangbanging for twenty six years, and now I'm fully finally trying to change. How that's possible? <laughs> I've been gangbanging for fucking. You came out the, the nineteen. Years. You came out your mama Wait. pussy. Wait. You know what? I, you know what's crazy? Wait. I feel like I came out my mama pussy creative. Cause my mama, when I came out, my mom did think I was autistic. You know, I had a lot of. I was super hyper. But a lot of me be on some like, bro, like the real me, the real me. How that, long you feel like you really been gang banging? You ain't been gang banging for 26 12. years. Since I was 12. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So you was gang banging before I you got some pussy? Yeah. But I didn't have no family. So I really gang, gang banging was just, off, just to get a family. Damn. I did it because if you was a gang member, I wanted somebody like you to be my brother. I didn't yeah. have no dad. Yeah. I didn't have no big brother. So I was just like looking for that, like searching for that. You was gangbanging before you had sex. Yeah. You what you like more? What you love most? Sex or gangbanging? No, I like affection more than sex. I like yeah, I like to be my hair, play with, cuddled, kissed on more than anything. I like that you're saying this because it's like yeah. so annoying when men act like they I, don't I like am it. Super and then you they get up under you and be swaffed as ever. But to be honest with you, I'm being a gang member, we the most emotional people in the world. Hell yeah, y'all fighting cases and fighting yeah. niggas all day. Most of the shit I got into was off of emotion. You said, what? Nah, I'm tripping. But then now I look back at this shit like, even when I'm in that mode, it's like, I can be reacting anger, but deep down inside me, I'm like, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that, don't say this, don't say this. But I be tripping, it's already there. It's like, fuck you, nigga, do something. Now I'm shaking like, nigga, bitch ass nigga. Because I've been shot at, seen people die, shot in my chest, shot at niggas, stabbed. So it's just like, bruh. Eventually, you just get tired of being the prey. You just become the predator. But like with my woman, that's, mm. it was like something about women. I never disrespect women. I didn't ever put my hands on no woman. Oh, mama. Like my ex-girlfriend killed herself. That fucked me to this day. What? Yeah, my ex-girlfriend killed shout out, you know, shout out to her whole family. Like, rest in peace to Don. You know, she wow. committed suicide you guys while I was together? with my baby mother at the time. Oh. That shit fucked with me. Hell yeah, that would. Yeah, nigga, that shit fucked me because she was talking about that shit while I was with her. So when that shit happened, I was just like, I was different. I just, I don't know. My life changed. And then I had a daughter. I just, not saying I don't, I didn't just, I didn't respect women, but my respect for women just gained higher. Yeah, a lot of people say that. Because now I got a daughter. daughter. Now yeah. I just be looking at women like, listen, a woman can't break my heart now. Like, you can go fuck another nigga. I don't even, because I see the value in you. I just be like, you wasn't happy here. 
Go do your thing, baby girl. I love you. Like, bro, I don't be tripping. The old me, I was tripping off of everything. A nigga say something wrong, a nigga disrespect anything because I was just emotional. Yeah. Now I'm just like, fuck all that emotional shit. Control that shit. God damn. We gonna have to wrap it up on that. That was some deep ass ending. Yeah, bro. Oh, That's my mama. That was interviews. the most... Tupac shit I heard all day. <laughs> that was some thug. I've been getting compared to Tupac emotional for shit. My whole life. That's great. Oh my mama. Anything you want to promote before we get out? It's been a long ass episode. July twenty first. Mm-hmm. I'm dropping an EP, five songs, and I'm dropping an album probably in September. Executive produced by Young Jeezy. Mm-hmm. Shout out Knock. Shout out my boy Sauce Gotti. Shout out my boy right here. He do too much. <laughs> You know, but um, yeah, we just seen Simba in the building too. So shout out Simba. Yeah, you know? man. Shout out Christina. Yeah, we, doing our thing. we in this thing, man. And shout out my woman. I love you, babe. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know? So we thugging. Thanks, Chris. Kiwi, 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 Kiwi. Ah, that's player. Christina, you got anything you want to say? No. Not everybody probably shut off the episode by now. Right? No, I love y'all. Thank you for having me. I love you here. This the best shit ever. Two on nine. Bitch, that nigga got me fucked up. It's the Cali <laughs> Kickback. It's your boy Lewis Belt. Make sure y'all tap in. You understand me? Thank y'all, everybody. Make sure y'all subscribe, man. Eh? Yeah. <laughs>